So I'm gonna share with you right now how you can buy UK property with no money. If you're new to this channel, go for it. Please hit subscribe and the notification bell right away and stay tuned for more videos that I release every single week. So I'm now gonna share with you the four ways in which you can buy UK property using none of your own money. Now I hear a lot of people say it's impossible to go and buy property using none of your own money. Well look, if you think it's impossible, hey, then you're probably right. If you think you can or if you think you can't, then you're right. I'm here to tell you that you can definitely buy UK property using none of your own money. Now some people refer to this as a no money down deal. And people go up in uproar, oh, it's impossible to get no money down deals. Well look, let me set the record straight. In order to do property deals, be it that's lease options, rent to rent, single let, HMOs, bigger deals, you do need money. So let's get that clear from the offset. But I'm here to show you how you can do this using none of your own money. And that's the key thing here. And I've raised over five million pounds in joint venture finance. So if I can do it, you can definitely do it. So number one, you can do what's called a 50-50 joint venture. Now it might be 60-40 or 70-30, but I'm just using 50-50 because that's what most of our joint venture deals uh, have been done uh, with that percentage split. So what does this mean? Well look, there are thousands and thousands and thousands of people out there that want to grow property businesses. But they have no time, they have no experience, they haven't got the enthusiasm, the drive, they don't have the power team, they don't know how to find deals, they've not got the relationships with the agents, with the vendors, but they've got the cash. So they put in the cash, and then what do you bring to the table? You bring time, even if you're doing it part-time, just five to seven hours a week. You bring knowledge because you're gonna learn about your local area. You're gonna learn about the ways to refinance and how you can structure these deals. You're gonna have a good understanding of the property strategies that you're gonna be offering out to your investors. You're gonna go and build the power team. You're gonna bring in the funders and the solicitors. You're gonna be working with the builders or the contractors. So the fact that you are bringing all of that to the table makes the joint venture really, really attractive for your potential investor. So remember, they bring in the money, you do everything else, and then you can split profits 50-50. So you can either buy, refurbish, and then sell a property once you've added value, um, they get their initial investment capital back and then you split the profits 50-50. Or you can buy, refurbish, refinance with the investor and ultimately you then split the rental income and when you refinance, either all or part of the money that you're able to pull out of the deal goes back to the investor. There are tons and tons and tons of people that would love to do joint ventures with you. Point number two, you can get involved with lease options. So what is a lease option? A lease option is buy now, pay later. So buy now and pay later. There's many people in the UK that are trying to sell their houses and for whatever reason, they're just not selling. Maybe the market has slowed down. Maybe it's not in the most desirable area. Maybe they're asking too much money. There's 101 different reasons why someone's house will not sell. And what you can do is go and approach the seller, the vendor, and you can say, look, I would absolutely love to buy your property. I will buy your property at X price. Let's just call it £100,000 but I'm gonna pay for it later, and in the meantime, I'm going to lease your house. Lease is renting. So you take control of the property, 
and let's just say you're paying 500 pounds a month rent to that person, you then have an option agreement where you're gonna buy that house at some point in let's say the next four years for 100,000 pounds. What you can also do is negotiate with the vendor that the 500 pounds a month you're paying rent comes off the amount of money that you're gonna owe in four years. So 500 pounds a month for 12 months is 6,000 pounds. 6,000 pounds times four years is 24,000 pounds. So actually in four years time, when you decide and if you decide to execute the option, you will owe 100,000 pounds minus 24,000 pounds. So you only have 76,000 pounds to pay at that stage. And at that stage, what can you do? You can use other people's money. So what happens in the four years? Well, there's a really good chance that the price of the property is going to increase in value. It's gonna increase in value. And you've also then um, been able to enjoy four years worth of cash flow. Because what you could do with that house is take it from a single let and convert it into a multi-let property, a HMO, a house in multiple occupancy, or even operate it as serviced accommodation where you're making far more than 500 pounds rent that you're paying the, uh, the homeowner. So this is a great way that you can get capital appreciation, you can get big cash flow, and in four years, you have the decision to make. Now you haven't got the obligation, uh, it's up to you what you wanna do. You can exercise the option or you can give the property back. Lease options are a great way of building up big, big, big amounts of equity in your property portfolio and you can go and get a lease option literally for just a few hundred pounds. You might need to pay for the solicitor fees, but you're not um, having to invest the thousands and thousands of pounds in deposits. You're not having to get a mortgage just yet. You're not having to raise joint venture finance yet. It's a great way to get into the marketplace. Now the third way you can buy property in the UK with no money, well hey, that's none of your own money, is by implementing a savings accelerator type product uh, with your investors. So rather than the investor putting all the money, you do the work and then you split everything 50-50, you can go and raise money with investors, friends, family members, people that know people, investors, they lend you the money, but rather than giving them a profit share, you give them a fixed rate return. So one of my first ever investors was a guy called Dave from Basildon, and he decided to invest 5,000 pounds. And at the end of the first year, I paid him back his 5,000 pounds plus 10% interest. Now let's say a property uh, is gonna cost 100,000 pounds. Well, you could borrow 50,000 pounds from two people, 25,000 pounds from four people, and then go and buy that property cash, add the value, so add the value, do the refurbishment, maybe you're gonna go into the loft, maybe in an extension, new kitchen, new bathroom. Then what you can do is refinance out at a later stage and then pull out that initial investment capital, pay your investors back, and then you own the asset in your name or your company name, but you own it 100%, and then you enjoy 100% of the cash flow. So you might be thinking, well, what's better to do? Is it best to do 50-50s, or is it better to raise money on loan agreements? And if I'm being honest with you, I'm not a greedy guy, and I just love doing property deals, and if I can help people, that's what this is about. Now, my preferred choice is always loan agreements because I'm not giving away any of the equity, but if, I, if the only option was to do a 50-50 JV, then I would much prefer 50% of something than 100% of nothing. And I go through all of this in a lot of detail at my property and business events where you can come and hang out with me, you can come and meet the Assets for Life team, you can meet some of our graduates. 
and I really explain in detail exactly how you can structure these deals and how the money can flow around in the most tax efficient way as well. So the last way in which you can buy property in, you, in the UK using none of your own money is you can go out to the banks, you can go out to bridging companies, you can go to development funding companies, you can use credit cards. Remember, there's a there's thing called good debt and bad debt. Now, if you're borrowing money to go on a shopping spree, that's bad debt because shopping sprees uh, clothes are going to go down in value, they won't go up in value. If you're borrowing money to go on a five star luxury hotel holiday, again, that is bad debt. But if you're borrowing money with low interest from institutions that are going to lend it to you, and then you use that money to go and buy assets, you buy property, well, that's what we call good debt because the property will go up in value, you're gonna add value for, through refurbishments, and then at some point in the future, you refinance or you pay the lenders back when you sell and you make profits. I'm a big believer of leveraging cheap money from credit cards, from banks, from bridging companies, from development funders. So uh, go out there and build relationships with these institutions. Now, if you are watching this and you've got some bad debt and you've got some CCJs and you can't borrow money, then that's not gonna stop you. Why? Because you can JV with someone. You can JV with an existing property investor. You can have a private joint venture agreement and they become the front man and maybe that person makes a little bit more money out of the deal. That's exactly what I did when I got my first property here in the UK after living abroad for 14 years. I had bad credit, I couldn't borrow any money, I had no history here in the UK. So my business partner Jay, he became the mortgage host and then about six months later I went onto the company and I started to build up my credibility. So everything is possible in property you've just got to be in it to win it so i'm telling you right now you can build a multi-million pound property portfolio using none of your own money thanks for watching this latest video on um, our youtube channel if you want to know more about lease options click here and if you want to know more about how to make even more profits in property then click here stay tuned and i'll see you soon